And we'd start with breaking news in Tualatin. A Washington County Sheriff's deputy has been shot at the Forest Rim Apartments. This conf complex rather is just off I-5 and Nyberg Street. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Brenda Braxton. All of this started around 930 this morning. We have team coverage this afternoon, starting with Joe Ranieri, who's near the scene. Joe, what else do you know at this point? Yeah, we just got a little more information about 15 minutes ago from the Washington County Sheriff's Office. Again, uh, this is an area in Tualatin just on the east side of I-5. Uh, Nyberg Street has been shut down here the last couple of hours. I just saw a mobile command center drive up uh, this uh, up this street here from near the, the shopping center with Washington County Sheriff's Office. You can see behind me there's dozens of crews with Tualatin Valley Fire and Rescue that are working uh, this area of Nyberg Street. This is what we can tell you right now. We have some video that we shot a short time ago that kind of shows this scene. Again, this all started just a couple of hours ago when we're told deputies were attempting to evict a person from the Forest Rim Apartments. Now, those apartments are on just the other side of the shopping center here in Tualatin. Now, when they arrived, uh, the person they were trying to arrest was resisting, and that's when they sh fired a shot and hit a deputy. Uh, that deputy was taken to a local hospital. We don't know a whole lot about his condition right now, but we do know he is being treated at a local hospital. And and he is in critical condition right now. And I have been speaking with some people uh, who witnessed this, who said this was a very chaotic scene. Here's what one woman said just a short time ago. When we were standing at the intersection, nothing moved. And all of a sudden there was like a swarm of ants coming, anything from police, fire department, ambulances, and they just started accumulating. Now, Brenda, obviously, if you're hoping to come into this area, try to avoid it here the next couple of hours, if not most of the day. And just to kind of give you a quick update on what happened, uh, shooting out here outside this apartment complex behind me, a deputy was shot with the Washington County Sheriff's Office in critical condition right now, taken to a local hospital, not sure which one, but again, very active scene out here. There is a mobile command center that just arrived here a few minutes ago. And again, we've been seeing members with the SWAT team out here trying to get this uh, suspect out of what we assume would be one of the apartment complexes but again uh, very active out here and again there's dozens of, of deputies dozens of crews with 12 valley fire and rescue uh, out here on the scene and, and they'll be out here most of the day we'll be giving you a latest report coming up at four o'clock tonight you got it joe thank you and we can fill in some more of those details we want to send it out to mike benner he's outside legacy emmanuel this noon what can you add mike yeah, Brenda, good afternoon. As you mentioned, we are outside Legacy Emanuel Hospital in North Portland, and uh, we believe this is the hospital that the injured deputy was brought to based on it being a level one trauma center. It's just this hospital and OHSU uh, where a deputy uh, shot in the line of duty will go. If I have my photographer uh, pan to the right, you'll notice that uh, the life flight helicopter is here uh, at the hospital. We believe this is the chopper that airlifted uh, the critically injured deputy to the hospital. Uh, we also believe uh, this is the hospital where the deputy's at based on the number of Washington County Sheriff's vehicles uh, here at the hospital. We've noticed several coming and going over the course of the last 30 to 35 minutes. And uh, just moments ago before this uh, this live hit, I noticed uh, uh, who I believe to be uh, Washington County Sheriff Pat Garrett walking into the hospital uh, to be with that injured deputy. Again, details uh, surrounding what happened um, pretty scarce uh, as far as uh, the deputy's condition. Uh, we know that uh, he or she uh, is in critical condition right now. So it is paramount that this individual is getting uh, uh, quality care uh, and uh, again, we'll stay out here at the scene and, and bring you the very latest as we get it. Uh, but for now, Brenda, I'll send it back to you. Absolutely. I know you'll be working the scene there. Thank you very much, Mike. You can find updates on our website, kgw.com, the KGW mobile app, and on our social media channels.